Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And I hope you enjoy. You know, I shared on our Facebook page um, the other day the Constitution Party's platform. And I did my due diligence when I was looking at at the candidates that I would support. Um, you know, because to me, I have two absolute red lines that I will not cross. I won't cross the line for pro-choice, and I won't cross the line on the Second Amendment. Those are my two absolute will not cross lines. And as I'm doing my research, um, and I've, I've been following the Constitution Party for quite a while, and but I've never read the party platform, and I'm reading it, and the first par the first section talks about we believe that this is God's country, this is Jesus Christ is the prince, more or less. We need to return it to that order, and then immediately after that it goes and it talks about abortion, like we were talking about last week, where with with cases of rape and incest, a lot of people are like, yeah, that's okay to terminate that, that pregnancy. The Constitution Party says we don't feel like that child should be held responsible for the actions of the father. And I've shared it with a few people and said, read this. Read this so you know what some of the other options are. And, you know, it really, it really st stuck out to me and, s and struck me as once you know better, you don't really have an excuse. Because that's one of those things that at, at the end we will be accountable to. And if you've done the research and you've looked and pondered and tried to do what's best... You need to act on that, or else you'll just be telling the Lord, yeah, I knew there was a better option, but I wanted to be part of the winning team. That's more or less what you're, what you're doing, unless you think the other candidate is better, but knowing the truth and acting on the truth, I just it's just something that you have to do, in my opinion. And so... I think that... And he, he, Mitch shared it with me as well, and it is powerful. And I think that after we've finished with the Constitution itself, we'll go into a lot of those those key principles because it is very powerful. That platform, that that um, what is that document called? Their their the hold on. It's their principles, but I don't know the actually, party platform. The party platform. It's it's powerful. It's long. And I've read most of it. And if, if you're listening to this and you agree with the things that we say, you'll probably find that, oh my gosh, this is the home where I actually belong. These are the things, because I, I go through it and I read it, and I said, this is, you know, this is my, these are my beliefs. These are the things that I believe not just as believing in the Constitution being the supreme law of the land and being divinely inspired, but for the for the party to go about and say these things and what they do, these are my my personal my personal viewpoints. I'm a registered Republican. I very rarely vote Republican unless I either a don't have a choice or by some miracle it's actually the best candidate because I mean the candidates do have leeway on on their their viewpoints and stuff like that but you know I I for a long time have usually voted for the Constitution Party because I knew what it stood for but I'd never taken the time to read the platform and I will say that it has been very eye-opening and Politically life changing for me to see the truth <coughs> represented. I think it's important in a political party. 
I think it's important for regardless of who you <coughs> vote for, who you support, <coughs> it's important to hold the representatives accountable to mm -hmm. represent you. Because that's their job. And even even if the person you vote for doesn't make it into office, whoever is in office needs to know what your views are so that they can represent you. And that's that's an important that's an important thing. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising episode nine. Um, hey buddy, if you like, subscribe and share and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.